Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Tariq Ali here from smartbiketrainers.com. Thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time here, this is where I talk about smart trainers and fitness tech. So consider subscribing and hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. And if you enjoy this video or find it useful, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So this is the Wahoo Element ROM. This is Wahoo's latest GPS bike computer and you can get yours for 380 dollars so for the past few years since wahoo entered the bike computer market they had the wahoo element element bolt and element mini but they had this little gap in their product line no computer with a color screen and they lag behind in navigation and that's where the rom comes in so why don't we first start with the uh, technical specs <laughs> Element ROM is a GPS bike computer. It does GPS bike computer things like calculating your speed, mapping your ride. It connects to a bunch of different ANT plus and Bluetooth sensors like a speed and cadence sensor, heart rate monitors, and power meters. It has a 17 hours of battery life, IPX7 waterproofing, so if you get caught in the rain while you're riding, you should be in good shape. It still uses a mini USB charger and we all have plenty of those. It has a smart trainer support. Uh, the Element ROM and other Element bike computers from Wahoo are all compatible with the Wahoo Kicker and other ANT plus FEC bike trainers. So you can use it indoor and control your smart trainer using slope mode, resistance mode, or level mode. Or you can also add a custom workout from Training Peaks or today's plan onto your Element and ride it in erg mode. And hopefully we'll start to see more apps auto-syncing workouts to the Element soon like Trainer Road, and Exert, for example, they've been talking about this for a while, so hopefully we'll see that implemented soon. The bike computer is huge, and the display itself measures 2.7 inches diagonal and has a huge bezel around it. Uh, it's the same size as the original element, and the screen resolution is 240 by 400 pixels. Wahoo is using an anti-glare Gorilla Glass here for the screen, supposedly a much tougher glass. I didn't put it through a drop test, intentional or unintentional. This is a loaner unit, so I am not sure Wahoo would have liked it if I intentionally try to break it. Uh, speaking of the original element, uh, what makes the ROM different? Basically, three main things. The color screen, and just a better overall screen with ambient light sensor, better navigation feature, and a different design. The ROM has a new form factor and a tiny bit smaller perspex than the Element. Uh, both have the same 17 hours uh, battery life. Other than the large screen, the ROM looks a lot like the Element Bolt. Similar form factor, same button layout, similar bike mount. And it does not feel as plasticky as the Bolt. It's still made out of hard plastic, but actually feels a little bit more solid. Or maybe because of its matte gray finish and everything in matte finish is better everything. It comes with two different mount options, a stem mount or this aero sweet looking mount. And by the way, this is their latest mount, uh, the redesigned and supposedly stronger mount. As you probably know, if you've been following the Element ROM immediately after the initial release, they noticed an issue with the original mount and they immediately stopped selling it and pulled it off the market and try to see what's the issue with the mount and redesigned it. I actually just got this mount just last week I, and I only took it for one ride so far. So I don't know, we'll see how it holds up with time, um, but I am sure it is fine. But it does look sweet when attached. So if you are into clean aero design, this mount is really sweet. The screen is flushed on top. It looks modern and not recessed like, uh, uh, like you see on previous devices, making it brighter and much easier to look at. Very easy to see in the dark or bright sunlight, no glare, and the font and text are very clear and easy to read. It's an LCD screen, but it reminds me a lot with an e-ink display you see on a Kindle, very comfortable on the eyes and easy to read, especially under uh, bright sunlight. You will see some pixelation in numbers and letters, and that's because these devices tend to have low pixel density. So the ROM has 96,000 pixels or 173 PPI or pixel per inch. And if you are wondering, the Garmin Edge 530 and 830 both have 156 PPI. So it does have a better pixel density than the new Garmin. So the ROM has an ambient light sensor. So the screen backlight and LED light will automatically adjust brightness based on the light condition around you. 
So whether you are outside or training indoor in a dark room, I find it to be just bright enough and easy to read. Now the ROM has a new color screen. The colors are very settled and they only use seven or eight colors. You're not going to see them everywhere and they're not bright colors like you uh, would see on a phone uh, or a tablet, for example. They are used in places where it's nice to see different colors like in maps, charts, power zones, and alerts. Okay, so let's talk about navigation. Most likely, if you are buying this by computer, you're buying it for its navigation features. That's what the ROM was mainly designed for. The Element Bolt and Original Element all have navigation features, but the ROM has a set of features that are only available on the ROM. And these features are, get me started, so if your friend sent you a route for a Wednesday night group ride and you are at your hotel two miles away from the start location, you can load that route onto the element and the ROM will ask you if you want to generate a turn by turn navigation to the start of that location. Back on track, if you miss a turn, run into construction while you're navigating, the ROM will reroute you and put you back on your route. I was actually very impressed on how fast it rerouted me. Take me to, you get turn by turn directions by selecting a location directly on the element from using the new pan and zoom feature or type in an address or location in the element app. So in the app, you can just type in coffee shop, for example, in the search box and it will display coffee shops close by. Or you can just type in a business name or a specific address and you will get turn by turn navigation of the safest route or bike friendly route. Now, generally I find it to select decent routes, but not necessarily the safest or popular routes that are uh, frequently used by cyclists, they are still rideable, but wouldn't be my pick. So if you are new in the area and trying to navigate somewhere, just make sure to double check these, uh, these routes. Uh, save location. You can save a favorite location like your home or your Airbnb or hotel if you are traveling and you will always have a quick access to it and it will generate routes and turn-by-turn uh, -turn navigation on the fly. Route to start, this one will find the shortest route for you to where you started from. So if you started from an location A, went to B, then C, it will take you back to A or where you started from using the shortest route. And finally, retrace route. Uh, retrace route basically will navigate you back using the same route you just did. So using our A, B, C route example, it will navigate you back to B, then finally A. You can also create courses and get turn-by-turn -turn navigation on courses you created on, from a number of providers such as Strava and Ride with GPS or load a previous route you did from your history. So you can fully control the element and customize it using the Element Companion app and that's what made the element so popular and people loved about the element. You can update the firmware, pair it to devices, rename devices, customize all your fields and pages, set alerts, auto labs, even the LED lights and how they function, they're all customizable in the Companion app. And there is no disconnect between the app and the device. Everything in the app works on the device and vice versa. Uh, actually, and you, there is no need to connect it to a computer. Actually, there isn't even an option to connect it to a computer to update a firmware, for example. Uh, it's simple and easy to use and come with a handful of feature that just work. Now, as far as everything else, GPS accuracy, elevation, pairing, everything just worked. I really didn't have any issues with the device in uh, the period that I've been using it and I've been using it for about a month or even more. So yeah, uh, different look, better screen and a color screen and better navigation. However, still have the same size, same battery life and that's about it. Still no support for third-party NT Plus devices like a Garmin Berea, for example. Not a big deal for me personally. I do not use a Garmin Berea or any other type of device that I can control from the bike computer, so, but people do ask about this. Uh, also cycling dynamic, uh, other than the Pioneer partnership they announced last year at Interbike, there hasn't been support for other power meters. Uh, and all these power meters, uh, they use open ANT Plus standards, so Wahoo, all they need to do is just program for them. So yeah, that's everything about the ROM. And I'm kind of curious, if you currently own a bike computer or shopping for a new one, what would make you buy this one or something else? Let me know down in the comment section. And that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.